Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Our champions of Nurgle are certainly doing well. Let's have a little bit of a recap before we get too deep into things. Technology-wise, we are working on Father Nurgle's gift. We're two turns away from grabbing that, with the key being immune to attrition. We are hoping, hoping upon hope, that we um, we get immune to the infighting that stops us from having two hordes next to each other. Because using our two armies together is going to give us a significant advantage against those sodding, dirty, swine, skelly boys that we really hate at the moment. <laughs> Following that, we're probably going to go ahead and grab Sacrifice to Nurgle, and we can finally get the Sons of the Last Plague into our armies. Now, our armies. Archeon looking pretty good. We, we obviously got rid of all the Marauders. We improved his army a while ago now. Why is there such spooky music? Sorry. I literally had to turn my headphones down. I was like, what is that? Okay. We're looking good. We've got the Mirror Guard. We've got the Demon Spew still. We actually can build. We built the Shrine. So we're ready to grab the Sons of the Last Plague as soon as we get the tech. We do have a uh, building slot available. But we're thinking we're going to save and maybe get this. We're, although saying that, we're not going to have that money for a while. Um, but the problem is every building we build makes the next building further away in terms of exp uh, growth sorry, and expense. What am I looking for? I would like to get the Unholy Furnace and then get the Demonic Forge so we can get some Hell Cannons. But it is what it is at the moment. Everything is fine. In Warwick's army, obviously we got a lot of Marauders and stuff. We're still replenishing. But I'm hopeful we can hit this very soon. Now... Since I've got to replenish anyway, maybe we'll just speed through and try and get this tech up and running. Um, and see where that leaves us. I'm not going to bother moving at the moment. And then we can test it when we bring them together. I know the attrition's not that big of a deal if we're just coming together to, you know, destroy a settlement and then we move apart again. But it would be kind of nice and it's probably going to take us two turns just to chunk these guys back up a bit anyway. So I'm kind of thinking we hold on. We have burned down the pools of despair. And the Bretonians have taken Bel Aliad. In fact, Cetra is rather on the back foot now. He's essentially got this little selection of, of settlements here and Kemri. We we want Kemri. So we can build the Chaos Fortress. The only concern is if somebody else takes Kemri and we're not at war with them, then we've got to go to war with them. <laughs> Which will, will not be ideal. Will not be ideal. But anyway, let's end turn, shall we? I wish you could have seen my eye roll when Setra just came bumbling out the darkness and turned up in El Calabad. You are so annoying, my man. Okay. I mean, why is he not defending Kemri? Why are you like this? Should we just go after Kemri? I mean, nah, we need to... We need to deal with this. Now, it's not going to be easy. And I think we probably will wait one more turn. Allow replenishment to happen. He doesn't. He's only got eight units, so it's not like he can really come out and attack us. Potentially another army will turn up, but we're going to give this a go. We're going to stick to the plan. I think we can still take down that. Obviously, we'll have 40 units, so we should still be able to deal with it if we have to. I may well just employ the tactic I did last time where we have a wrecking ball of like all the trolls and, and Archeon just all together bashing stuff. Works pretty well. Actually, no, it wasn't even that, was it? It was this army, wasn't it? All these trolls plus Woolrich. Yes, it was. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, more more, more troll wrecking balls. Anyway, let, let's go one more turn. And then we can just um, see what happens with our, our research. Ooh, Van Karstein biting the dust. Really? Okay, there it is. Father Nogel's gift. The Plague Lord's followers will not fall to other lesser blights. Good stuff. So, Von Karstein has is dead. Oh, it looks like the the, uh, the Empire have really seen enough here. They're actually completely surrounding the remnants of, of Vlad. Although we can't see in here, of course. Not Vlad, sorry. Uh, Manfred. Manfred. Uh, Manfred probably still has this, but we never know. Dear, oh dear. I, I, th I thought, they were, thought they were doing well, but apparently not. Right. The technology is complete then. Should we grab Sacrifice and Urgle? I think we should. Let's get that going. Then we can get those cool cool units pretty soon. Now then. First things first. Let's get you stuck in there. If I encamp, does that give you any combat bonuses? It does. Weapon strength. 
quite good actually. Yeah, ten percent weapon strength. So let's do that. Now I'm going to move you guys in, and hopefully we're not going to see any attrition. Looks like we don't. That's big. Okay, is this a siege? It is. Although it's pretty much auto resolvable. Oh, we might do that because we fought these about a thousand times now. So I'm not really overly enthusiastic about doing it again, especially in a grinding siege. Like, we don't want to keep seeing the same battles over and over again, do we? We want to move the campaign forward. We've been dicking around down here the whole time. Let's try and get away with it. We do. Easily. Actually, fine. Honestly, we've wasted enough time on these duffers. Ooh, Pendant of Slaanesh. This pendant was crafted from the crystallized soul of the very first man who has been seduced by Slaanesh. To have been seduced, sorry. Chaos Corruption plus 5, local province, ability, Pendant of Sanesh. Ooh, speed and melee attack for Woolrick. I mean, the speed is going to be the crucial thing. Measurement Renown unlocks Swords of Chaos. Little followers of the ever-chosen Maleficent Knights, dedicated with a reverent faith to any and all of the Chaos Gods. Well. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to get them in immediately. Right? I mean, they are knights, though. We kind of need to. Actually, I could get rid of some horse masters. Ah, oh, we already have two sets. Of Unless I give... Oh, I could give the other knights over to here. Couldn't I? That's a pretty good strat. Let's do that. I'll do it next turn, though, because we can't really move now. Right, we are level 20. Do I want to put you on your mount now so you can roll around with the knights? It's going to make you less effective in melee, generally. Which kind of sucks. No, let's keep going for lightning strike. Let's keep going for lightning strike. So we'll take on holy resilience. We, we're going to need it. We're going to need it. As for Hubus, you were getting the chosen of Nurgle path, weren't you? So let's take another point of Plague Father's protection. Plus four armor for everybody in the army is kind of good, isn't it? Kind of good. You can just chill and camp. I mean, to be fair, you can encamp as well now. Get a little bit. I know we're going to lose money this turn, but we'll get a lot of replenishment. So that's good. Next turn, I will probably take some of these out, slap those uh, basic Chaos Knights across into Warwick's army, which will be a good little upgrade for him. And then we'll grab the Regiment of Renown. Oh, but then we're also going to have... We're also going to have access to the Sons of the Last... Oh, it's all kicking off. Right, come on then. Come on then. Let's get on with it. Let's make progress, shall we? Technology research. Sacrifice to Nurgle. Unlike the other Chaos Gods, Nurgle truly cares for his followers, sharing them with love and alleviating their pain and suffering. Sons of the Last Plague, unit capacity plus one and growth plus 25. Very good. Right, here's a, here's a thing though. Do we want to... Do we, I'm not really sure we want to get involved in this goose chase. Do we want to just head up to Kemri now that we've dealt with Cetra for a bit? I, can't, I think we kind of do. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to head in that direction with that one, and then this one can catch up for army transfers. Oh, this is so good. We don't have attrition between the armies anymore. We can literally just basically hack. Um, what am I talking about? We need to get rid of... Well, also, are we going to recruit... Hang on, then. Sons of our last plague, where are you? The front? Yeah, we can get one unit, so we better do that. Juggernaut area tax regeneration. Oh, yes. So... Ah, okay, on where are you? Come here. So we're gonna transfer out some knights and what? Probably just one of the basic chaos warriors into the other army. We could get no, 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 no let's do that. Yeah, so we can actually get rid of two sets of marauders, which is a shame because they were cheaper. Um, and then we can do this. Give the knights and one set of warriors all right now you can just encamp or maybe you should raid be a lot less upkeep for you even though there's nothing to raid it's so funny like we don't get any money from raiding but it still reduces our upkeep okay and now you i guess can just sit next to that's fine and then you're going to encamp you're going to get the sun to the last oh it's going to take two turns Ooh. okay in that case move a little bit further every little helps Every little helps. Okay, we're going to grab Sons of the Last Plague. It will cost 3,000. And then we can get our Regiment of Renown. Which I might not bother getting until 
next turn because it's just pointless upkeep, right? Although, do they not cost upkeep? Maybe they don't. Either way, there's no point. We'll get them. We'll get them next turn. They're looking very spicy, though. Anti-infantry juggernaut area attack special aura. What's the aura? Apocalyptic charge. Okay, so affects allies in range, which is map wide. Oh my goodness, a massive buff to people around you when you charge. Holy crap. All right, and then also Guardian. Oh, wow. Okay, so around self, facts, allies and reigns. Target if unit is a lord or hero. So it basically gives physical resistance to lords and heroes. Which is going to make it even more like... It's going to make even more sense for me to put Archeon on his little horsey. And send him around with these guys. It's going to make incredible sense. So we'll probably end up doing that. But anyway, that is for next turn. And then we can just keep moving over. Yeah, all good. Right, technology then. Do we want to keep working on buffing them and getting more? Or... Well, we don't have enough money to move on here anyway. That is kind of a good buff for our Chaos Warriors. Don't super care about that one although the, the raiding increase income is good but that's going to take turn 10 turns anyway and i'd kind of rather start going down here oh my god touch of the plague upkeep reduction and recruit rank so maybe it makes sense to get that one first let's get god of death by rebirth okay good we're finally we're finally getting the nurgle unit Praise Nurgle. Praise Papa Nurgle. Progress is coming. Excuse me? Who the hell was that? Uh-oh. Bretonians are getting shifty. Right. Clear skies. Your forces are benefiting from a protracted period of good weather. Oh, good stuff. Leadership plus six. Who is this? Oh, it's a hero, but they're on a chariot. Okay, bro. All right. You, you do you. Bit worried about what they're doing, but they're probably just going to settle ruins, to be honest. Glory. Eee, that's a lot of battle pilgrims. Baron the Devoted. Flying monster. Oh no, he's got his He's level 17. Jesus. Okay. People are getting a bit frisky here, aren't they? I think we need to keep our keep our boys together. Okay, and now we've done Oh, we've got one more turn to go. I probably will now recruit the other unit though. Let's see if the upkeep changes. 422. No, they don't cost any upkeep. All right, fair enough. There is only 12 of them. But they are very good. Very, very good. Okay, so one more turn. We'll have our sons. Do I want to build anything here while we're sat here? Not at the moment. Money is a bit tight. Um, well, not really, but it's kind of tight. So we're going to just hold on. I don't know how much it's going to cost to actually settle this if we burn it, burn it down and try and get a keep. So let's leave it leave it as it is. One more turn and then we'll start moving over. Mm, the top knots have been obliterated. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, Azag is having a war at the Hell Pit, which is right up here. No, here, 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 here. Okay. Ooh, ah, ah. Game. Chill. Okay, uh, unit recruited, Sons of the Last Plague, connoisseurs of pestilence. These redoubtable warriors are tireless in their pursuit of new plagues to sample. Benefit from own skills slash tech. Okay. Mission issued, steal and destroy, raise or sack the Jaluk Oasis, which I think is, yeah, no, we're not doing that. We got, we got, we got stuff to do, all right? Our army's ready to go. We've got our Sons of the Last Plague, Juggernaut Area Tax Regeneration. Obviously, they come with Touch of the Plague, which is an explosion. Very good. And they've got the Blessing of Nurgle like everybody else. Excellent. Okay. Let's begin moving over. I'm just going to click on it because it's like the easiest way to make sure we move. Are you going to move too far? No. Good. And now though, we should be able to raid now that they've taken that. It won't be for... In fact, maybe we won't get anything the first turn. No, because they've only just settled. That's okay, though. We're only losing 200. We're not too far away. We've got to decide what we want to do after that. I mean, in some ways, 
It'd be kind of cool to just go around trying to settle. Like, what is our what is our objective for the campaign? I can talk about this while the turn's ending. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what is our objective? Do we want to? Because obviously it's going to be very difficult and time consuming to just like try and wipe everybody out. Maybe. I mean, to be honest, I'll go until it's fun, and then we'll just kick it kick it over and <laughs> go do another campaign. You know, but. Do we want to just try and sell like a selection of chaos fortresses and hold them? That could be like a fun, a fun kind of way to do it. I wouldn't be too against that. Right. Anyway, Zuffbar has been destroyed. Bordelow and Carcassonne have joined hands, and Volric or Volric has leveled up. We were going for lightning strike here as well. Let's grab unholy resilience. Jolly good show. I think we can just raid our way over there. Well, don't go too far. Hey there. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Okay, bro. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? Maybe we can't. <laughs> okay. What if they have lightning strike as well? Can you imagine? I mean, we should be okay against one army, but oh my god. What are we... These guys are such a pain. Maybe I should have wiped out all the settlements. Am I making a mistake? My god, this campaign, guys. I've never hated Toon King so much in my life. Cetra's back already? And he's doing a fourth army? Oh my god. Alright, we're just gonna have to go and burn everything down. Like, real talk. Real talk. Let's just go and burn everything down. We can't. This is just ridiculous. This is ridiculous, but it is what it is. We will have our Chaos Fortress, no matter how long it takes. But I'll tell you what, I'll just shut up and get on with it. Let, let's speed through, all right? There's going to be a lot of end turning. Let's just get on with it. Let's not screw around. Because, come on, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. They've got so many skelly boys in there. More skellies than you can shake a stick at. I mean, we need we need somebody to come in and, and give us a hand here. Why, why are you moving me here, camera? Are you okay? You okay? Yeah? Alright. Alright. Fair enough. Come on. Let's go and burn this fucking thing down. I've, I've had enough. We'll just get rid of all these cities. Hubas has another skill point, which is pretty cool. We need at least... Well, after one more, we can actually get Chosen of Nurgle. But what should we have? Minus speed for increased melee defense. I'm kind of thinking that's on the table. That's definitely on the table. I think we will get it. Okay, let's go. End turn simulator once again. We know it well. An influx of prisoners. Right, where do we want to go with this one? Campaign movement range is probably still the agenda. Let's just grab more slaves. His lever being destroyed. Oh no. Well, I mean, oh, oh good. Yay! Oh god, have you been watching the Warhammer 3 stuff that's coming out? Oh my goodness. Cannot wait to play Kislev. Cannot wait. Just give me those bears. Just inject the bears into my veins, guys. Holy crap, I am so ready for that. Okay, we should be able to just auto-resolve our way around if we if we bring the supporting cast. Um, I'm going to be cheeky and move a little bit to the right so we can start heading in that direction. Oh no, I didn't mean to click on you. Okay, we should be okay. I'm just gonna... We don't want any silly losses, but should be fine. Yeah, all good. Burn it down. Raise for... Oh, 12.6k. Oh, we get Warrior Bane. The un this unsettling weapon spreads a curse on all around, disabusing enemy warriors of their martial skills. Okay. I've never seen the word disabusing. Apparently, it makes sense. Okay, so melee defense plus two, passability of Warrior's Bane... Minus 15% base weapon damage for all people in range, 40 meters. That's kind of cool. What weapon What weapon are we rocking? You don't have one, so you could have it. Pretty sure... Yeah, you have Fencer's Blades, which is fine. I mean, it's crap, but it's fine. Hubus has Sword of Might. All right, screw it then. You can have it. Why not? You've been getting stuck in. Um, Archeon can't move. I'm just going to trust that he's not going to get... Then again, there's no point in moving away from him, really. Uh, we could raid for a bit of income saving. Yeah. Pretty expensive right now. Let's raid. 
Oh, we got a skill point for Archeon as well, which is going to be Lightning Strike. Jolly good. Jolly good. I mean, obviously that does... Do I want to go here as well? Probably, uh... I mean, that's a lot of recruitment cost reduction. 8%. Extra movement range. Maybe I should go all the way through. But there's so much other stuff to take, isn't there? I kind of need to finish this stuff. Eh, yeah, maybe I should finish that stuff first. But yeah, obviously... Ooh. Oh, should we upgrade? Probably. We'll get increased income. Or do we want to build something? We could even build the, the cannon building. Well, begin that path. What are we at? Level 3? We'd need to be level 4 to get cannons anyway. Well, it costs 15k though. But we do need it. Screw it. Get it. Yeah, so obviously Lightning Strike does take away our ability. Oh my god, we're actually <laughs> losing a lot of money a turn. It does take away our ability to reinforce each other if we're using Lightning Strike, but crucially, also takes away their ability. And hopefully, that means we can just kind of gank a couple of their small armies when we get that ability to. That's the plan. Okay, guys, I'll be honest with you. We need to be raiding now. Ah, let me select the other army. Alright, come down here. Are you still at war with these guys? Yeah, good. Okay, we're making money. Everything's fine. So we'll do one more intern. We'll burn down Sudenberg, and then we can just sweep over here and wipe this out. And then we'll head back up to Kemri and see what we're dealing with. And maybe Lightning Strike will allow us to just pick off a couple of armies. Oh, hello. Non-aggression? I mean, I'm not going to pay you. How about you pay me? You have very strong economic power. Low. Low. Really? You're a bit cheap, aren't you? Three hu Well, I mean, it's 300 you wouldn't have had. Oh, okay, fuck you. Nope, fuck you, Arkan. Fucking jerk, right. I mean, there's literally only 11 units. We probably don't need both armies, but it will reduce losses, right? It'll keep losses down. Got him with the wrong army, but it should be okay. Oh, good. Speed of a Lycos. We've got a Sword of Might, which we don't really need. A Zealot. Nobody... Surely you can... Yeah. Although it doesn't really help you. We don't have a wizard in your army. I'd like to get one, though. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, he already has a zealot. Okay, well, yeah, you might as well have it then. So Hubus has a skill point. Good. So he can get, now get chosen of Nurgle. Father Nurgle protects his own and punishes their transgressors. So, here we go. Duration, 25 second augment. Target self. Recharge if out of melee. So, okay. Unit is invulnerable to damage. Does not apply to summon units. Minus 20 attack. Minus 20% speed. Imbued with plague. Okay, so you're just invulnerable. And you plague everyone around you for a while. That's kind of good. Like, you're less likely to hit people. And you can't use it to escape because there's less speed. But I tell you what, that's not bad. Especially the fact that you can be invulnerable and just tank for like 25 seconds. And Hubus has been tanking as it is, right? Alright, raid, raid it up. Raid it up, raid it up, raid it up. Okay, didn't see your skill point. Ulrich. Um, so you've got... No, you haven't. You've Now you need Lightning Strike as well. Good stuff. Okay, let's keep trying. I tell you what, we're actually going to earn a few more... Um, Sons of a Last Plague as well. And in fact, we may end up just getting rid of all these, these Chaos Warriors and just having Sons. That's going to be good. Also, upkeep reduction. So things are looking good from that point of view. Master Mark bites the dust. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go over. We need to get back together a little bit.
Okay, we could be building something. I'm going to hold off for now. Money is not in the, like the most bountiful place. We're also going to need to recruit another unit very shortly. Are we going to be able to do that? Yeah, if we, if we make sure we go in with Woolrick, then Archeon will be able to encamp and recruit. Although it takes two turns. Oh, maybe I'll burn these both down first to just prevent him raising any armies or any of that crap. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, first of all, faction emerges, Ostermark, coming back from the dead. You love to see it. Um, must have been rebels. Okay, technology research, God of Death by Rebirth. Decay and death are but one part of the cycle of life. Nurgle's followers understand this well, so coming to horrible mutations only to rise again, stronger than before. So now we have an extra capacity for the Sons of the Last Plague, recruit rank plus two for them, and upkeep minus 10% for them, which is really good. Very, very handy. So I'm not going to recruit this turn anyway. Let's head over. We could lightning strike, but that will not help us. <laughs> okay, jolly good. Should be pleased we don't need to fight all these. It would be really painful. Okay, achieve victory over Tomb Kings multiple times. Walric. Okay, leadership plus five when fighting against them. Shield of Patolos. First discovered in the far south by Tomb Raiders. The Shield of Patolos grants the wielder a great defensive boon against missile attacks. Okay, also a scroll of leeching, which I'm bored of reading those out now. Uh, a research rate plus 4% from a student. It's a nice follower to have, although I've got a feeling we already have one. No? Oh, is it for heroes? You have a skill point, so hold on. We've got lightning strike, so we could continue and get corruption, but I don't think we're going to at the moment. I think what we'll probably do is uh, we could actually put Warwick on a horse. That wouldn't be the worst. Although we might as well wait for a Chaos Dragon. Maybe missile resistance. Leadership aura size could be good here. Purely because we're going to spend a lot of time around trolls. I think I might just take out Eye of the Gods, though. 10% weapon strength when attacking, which we often are. Pretty good. Why is Archeon ran so far away? Why are, you, why are you doing this? Okay, so that's you handled for now. Archeon up to level 22. So again, I don't think we'll carry on there. I think what we'll probably do... Um... Maybe I should get the horse. Should we just get the horse now? Let's just get the horse and be done with it, okay? Hubus can be the man on the ground. Should have read the description, really. Oh, he can get his manticore now. Actual buff to weapon strength. However, not like anti-large and stuff anymore. I won't for the moment. Do we want to keep come back here and get more melee defense? I think we do. He's becoming a tanky boy. So let's get Pestilent... Perseverance. Wow, that was difficult. Another point in there. I know you are. I know. Okay, we're going to raid just to keep the money. Um, in terms of tech, I might just keep going. Because we can just keep buffing these boys up. Let's get God of Pers... Ah! I kind of like the explosion, though. God of Plague. Let's get that instead. Okay, let's just go back quickly and have a little look at his, his Mount Aru. Dorgar. Dorgar is the steed of the apocalypse, a gift from the Chaos Gods themselves to their ultimate champion. There you go. Now you know. Now you know. So we've still got this skelly boy following us around. Should just be that place on left. Let's have a little, little look at the old diplomacy here. Wait, they have five settlements? What? What? Where? Oh my god, they're attacking... They're attacking Numus and they're taking... Oh, my God. Well, then surely they can't be... Oh, God, they're right there. Etc. cetera. Okay, we're still going to go burn that down. <sighs> Cetra, why are you like this, man? Honor of Korn. Korn is not always a bloodthirsty killer. He occasionally recognizes and respects martial prowess in his opponents. He sees it in one of our foes. Human conflict. Leadership minus 10 when fighting against men. Well, that's horrible. Alright, come on. 
I'm still going to keep... I, I did think briefly during the end turn, maybe I need to split up and send one, one army this way. But you don't know what you're going to run into. We might get seriously caught out. So I'm just going to chill. Take my time. It's fine. Let's just wipe this out. Maybe we go up and look at Kemri again, but there'll just be magically four armies there while he continues to take over the whole world, probably. But the worry is... Well, hang on. Zen turn. <laughs> while we talk, the worry is... If I go if I go up, he's going to keep expanding. If I go right and attack his armies over here and burn down them again, he's probably going to go and settle all this. We need somebody else to come. I mean, Arkan... We have given Arkan a lot of... Um, help by accident can i help you why okay bro okay bro i see how it is you're lucky i, I can't reach you reichland and sterling confederate reichland we're getting a bit of an order tide rolling aren't we can you get in range to help Ooh, maybe not can we attack this turn or nah oh we can good save a turn Ba bum ba bum ba bum. Okay. Ooh, there's a little bit of pushback here. Not enough. Although our Chaos Warriors with Halberds took a beating. <laughs> Despite getting like no kills. I guess they got shot by the towers. <laughs> oh, a cool almost 16k. Featherfo talk. That isn't that like uh Yeah, debuffs flying units around you. Don't really care about that right now. We did do that mission by accident. <laughs> when I said it wasn't gonna do. So we'll take our four thousand gold for that. You can probably just raid. Okay. I like the Chaos Ruins. They're kind of cool. Look at them. Look at them. Everywhere. Brilliant. Okay. So here's the thing then. Do we push right? How is that? How can that... You've literally just got there. How can that possibly have 16 in its garrison already? Like, there's cheating and then there's etc. If I go up there and there's four armies sat there, I will be absolutely furious. But I might go up there. It's a waste of time in a way, though, isn't it? We're not going to upgrade to level five just... Oh, we do have 36k. Oh, what's this upgrade do? Ooh, oh, it takes three turns, though. Yeah, it takes three turns. Listen... I think we hold off. We need to We need to get stuff done right now. We, we can't afford to, to rest on our laurels. We gotta deal with Cetra. We gotta figure out a way to deal with him. And we gotta do it now. It's like we we are like a hundred what, 106 turns into this campaign. Okay, nice. Possessed. Extra follower for research rate. We're 106 turns into this campaign, and we're still just dicking around down here. <laughs> like you're not achieving anything. Which, you know, that's the chaos way, but. Okay, what did I take? I took Eye of the Gods last time. Can now get the Manticore, but... I mean, it feels like a waste of a point if you're going to get the Chaos Dragon anyway. We could go back and get some more um, spells. We could get the Ravens packed, but then the miscast base chance is kind of painful for this army, isn't it? I don't like a lot of these. They don't really suit us. Uh, we could actually go into the red line a bit. Or we could carry on and get corruption in this army. Or. Leadership aura size, like I talked about. Hmm. I wouldn't be against going in here and getting some troll buffs. Where are the trolls? Is that troll? Yeah, I mean, it's only melee plus two at first, but that could be good. Maybe we do that with him. I don't feel the need to really invest in the, in the spells too much. We've already got a fair bit available. More than he can actually find the magic to use. So I think... I mean, this stuff is still useful, but I think we're going to go in here. And by I think, I mean YOLO, we're doing it. Okay. Shall we make for, for Kemri or the Plain of Tuskers? Don't know. Let's, let's half-ass commit. I think we need to go... Like, surely, if he's down here taking all this crap, he can't have a bunch of armies sat in Kemri. He'll find a way. Cetra is always waiting around the corner, just peeking at me, waiting to see what I'll do next. What do you want now? 
Do you know what, Arkan? You've had your chance, all right? You have had your chance. Nurgle is sick of your... Your, uh... You're just an asshole. Go away. <laughs> don't, don't put me on the spot. Okay, mission issued. Recruit a lord. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit busy right now. I would love to have a third army, but... Um, funds... While we have quite a bit of money stocked up, we don't, we don't have the most income. Now, I realize that operating a deficit is often a feature of a horde faction but they are quite expensive to upgrade so that that money supply can run out quite quickly what we're doing with Archeon now probably go here just so that we can continue on get will of the gods get ascension to demonhood which is actually pretty big physical resistance 10 percent is very nice then we can get chosen of the gods but i think we will let's get distinguished champions i know we don't have any exalt actually Oh, well, it's only hero capacity and recruit rank anyway. So, like, we... Where, 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 where? I guess it's... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we could get two more anyway. Maybe I should have one to put in, in Warwick's army, but for the moment, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're not going to build anything. Let's roll. Quest issued. Crown of Domination. Raise or sack the following number of settlements. Three. Okay. Winds of Pain. Okay, Winds of Magic. Starting amount plus 40 for all armies of all factions. We still have our quest to actually go up and fight these very scary armies. Uh, which we could probably do with our main army now. Although those champions are a bit frightening. I would love to have some champions myself. But listen, let's <laughs> we're going to deal with Cetra. Then we'll worry about other stuff. Um, we can finish off Pestilent Perseverance, which we will. Behubus. Huber, Huber, Huber. Uh Maybe we should... Ca uh, campaign March is so expensive. Look, yeah. Uh, 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 I kind of just want to raid my way over there. Did you really have to go right near the settlement? It better be quicker. It better be quicker if you're doing that. Okay, come on. Let's speed run a few turns. I don't want to end the episode before we get there or anything. I'm watching you, Cetra. I know it's coming. Didn't Numus have this before? Oh my god. What a, what a plague on... Listen, we're supposed to be the plague on the world, and yet... It's fucking Cetra, isn't it? We all know it is. Let's not beat about the bush. What's there? Two armies. One of which is sitting outside, and therefore... Cetra is inside, but th therefore... That is a prime... Um, lightning strike target. I think we don't need... We could sit here and recruit the other Sons of the Last Plague. I'm not going to. I think we're going to hope we can... We can deal with Meshep with our better army, which I'm sure we can with lightning strike. And then we need to prepare to siege... Henry, I mean, at which point, uh, no doubt, there's already 4,000 armies galloping back towards us, so I don't know how this is going to play out. But we got to take it. We can't just let him sit there. we we, we got to take Kemri, okay? We can't keep running away. Wait, they're running away. Hello? Yo, I mean, if that is... What are they doing? I'm sure they'll come back in with multiple, but... If that's auto-resolvable, I, I flipping well might. We've been here long enough. Oh my god, it totally is. Oh, it totally is. What is this, by the way? Obviously, Tomb Guard up the wazoo. A hero titan. A necrosphinx. A couple of necrosphinxes. A tomb scorpion. Four sets of Usharpty. One Usharpty with great bows. Three hellscream catapults. No. Screaming skull catapults. <laughs> what am I talking about? Right. Well, I know it's an important battle. 
I'm just really sick of the Tomb Kings. How do we how do we feel about an auto resolve and if we get away with it, sod it, and then we can move on with our lives? I'm kind of feeling up for it, and we can just do it now. I can't remember if I hit quick save already. Genuinely, I think, but then at the same time, it's kind of meaningful. But it's just going to be a right grinder, isn't it? It's going to be a right grinder. I feel like we've seen enough Tomb King battles here. With, with less auto resolve, sod it. There it is. Right, what are our options? I think I we owe it. Corrupt and occupy then. Oh, it's so much money, but we got to occupy. We owe it because we've not had a battle this episode. There it is. Confident besieger for Archeon. Achieve victory in multiple siege battles. Extra leadership. We've got a war banner. That's very nice. We can assign to a unit for all these lovely buffs, which Woolrick has picked up. Right, come here. I want to make sure absolutely that you are not out of range or any of that crap. And we actually have a Chaos Fortress. Bastion of Chaos. And it starts at level 4. The Bastion's every aspect is meant to glorify the Dark Gods. So it gives us a bunch of income, growth, weapon strength against vampires. Basically all undead, actually, because it's the Kemri one, I assume. Construction cost for buildings is increased. That's fine. How's it your replenishment rate? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Replenishment rate increase for armies in the province. Corruption. Construction slots. Has a bit of a garrison. Granted, it's mostly crap. Although there are some aspiring champions. A lot of cultists. So. We've got a bunch of buildings here. Oh my goodness. Pillar of Skulls. Gives us access. To, I won't read everything now, but essentially that is going to be the Chaos Warrior building going up into Aspiring Champions. This is so good, though, because it means we can recruit armies and immediately get good units from the buildings here, like a normal faction. And in fact, we can just get the forge outright and then we can build hell cannons there. Oh, heck yeah. Oh my god. Also, look at that. Plus three melee attack for all recruited units in this province and melee defense. So, is that the same for all these? Do they all have bonuses? No, I got carried away. But the forge. The forge permanently buffs units that we build here. How cool is that? So we'll be grabbing that. We will get walls. Chaotic Symphony. Let's get the walls. That will give us Chaos Warriors to our garrison as well as the buffs. And an army ability. Then when we upgrade it, we get Dragon Ogres. And then Chosen. So we're obviously we're going to build that. So let's get that going. These don't cost growth either, which is just handy, isn't it? Okay, we're going to want that. Should we just keep build this now? I kind of think we do. And then we can sit here and defend it, which would be really boring to watch. What's at the end? These are shrines, or altars, I should say. So we can get the Nurgle altar. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of handy. Or building construction costs minus 10%. I feel like we should have it because it's, it's correct. So we'll probably build the altar and then what? We could get another, like, unit recruitment building. Obviously, we're going to want this. But what's in this section? Warpstone totems is just income and growth. Pretty basic. Burning ruins. Income and magic item drop chance. I mean, it's a reasonable amount of income as you go up. Corrupted hovels. Income from cities, all regions. Income from buildings, all regions. Okay. Marauder arena. Okay. Income... Recruitment, uh, sorry, not recruitment. Well, recruitment cost, yes, but unit experience for armies in the province. Recruitment capacity, melee bonus for Chaos Cultists. Thralls, income, tribute from vassals, upkeep reduction for Chaos Marauders. Okay. I mean, the income would be good. I don't know whether, whether the, well, but I assume we would go Burning Ruins for now. That is 250, well, that is 400 though, but then this upgrades quite quickly. That'll be 600 by we get by the time we get there. So maybe we go Burning Ruins. Alternatively, we could, like I say, go for one of the unit buildings. But that's not really critical to us right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess we could upgrade it to here quite quickly and then get Dragon Ogres from that one. We're not level 5, so we couldn't upgrade here anyway to get these beautiful units. But we could get some Dragon Ogres if we went for that one. Obviously, Manticores and Chaos Spawn would become available. I think we don't, though. I think, honestly, we take the Burning Ruins. Obviously, we're going to have more slots, but for the now, for now, we'll just take that, and then we'll get the um, Nurgle Altar. And then maybe, after we level up, it should just give us one more slot, I assume. I assume it'll just give us that end slot. 
um, and no more, then we can build one of the unit buildings here. Which, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We'll have to see. We'll see what unfolds. But getting these up and running first is going to be ideal. We do need to defend it while it builds them. No doubt Cetra is going to kick off and attack. But I think we're in a good spot to deal with him. Okay, before we round out. Do I want to build anything here then? Not particularly. I think we can save the money. I could even get the Dragon Ogre building here now. Would be kind of cool. Maybe I get like... Well, the War Shrine is money, but it's not great. Movement range reduction... I don't know. I mean, ideally, I want to get this upgrade, but it's just going to take a while to get the money. As for you, we should really build... We probably should build a second thing for you. Maybe we get this for the income. Yeah, let's get another Mound of Blades. Let's get you one as well. Okay, right. We've finally taken Kemri. It took until turn 110, but we finally have Kemri. We finally have our own Bastion of Chaos, a little fortress. Things are on the up. It took a while, but they're on the up. So I'm gonna leave it there for blah, 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 words. I'm gonna leave it there for today. Come on, brain, we're nearly there. Thank you for joining me, as always, everybody. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time. <laughs>